Hey folks, TechNivers here. Today I'm going to show you how to add your printer into Kira. This is my 3D Printing for Beginners 2025 playlist. Let's jump right into it. So, uh, the first time you open Kira, you will come across this screen. I have opened it myself in case you uh, messed up your print settings and need to add another printer or the correct printer. The way to do that is to go to File, wait, no, 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 Settings, Printer, it's not what I meant to click, my mouse is going crazy. All right, settings, printer, add printer. You can also go to manage printers if you make a mistake to delete the printer that you have added if it was a mistake. So um, when you see this screen, basically you can click add new and it'll bring you to this one. Um, most of these are gonna be non-Ultimaker printers. It will give us a list for you to select your printer from. I highly recommend you select your printer from the list. My only exception to that is if there is, uh, yeah, uh, uh, basically if you can't find your printer, I'll explain that in a minute. We're going to go through, and of course they put all the Ultimaker printers first, and that is open, but look at all these different types of printers they have. Uh, Anet, Anycubic, Artillery, just tons of stuff. Atom Stack, uh, BQ, Blocks, Builder, Creality, there's a lot of good ones in there. We're actually going to select this one, and we're going to do the Ender 3, one of these Ender 3 variants. Now, I will tell you, if you have a Cartesian machine that is 235 by 235, uh, and you cannot find your printer, you can just select the Ender 3. I've used it a million times as a base profile for several different Cartesian machines, since they are mostly the same size, and you can adjust the settings from there. So. Um, I brought these up by clicking add non-network printer by the way I was yapping when I clicked that so it's down here I don't want you to miss it um, so we'll just leave that name as Ender 3 Pro click add all right so here it is here Creality Ender 3 Pro and you can select it hit activate and it selects that as my printer here and now you can see this is the printer that I am using. You can also find all your other printers in here. Like I said, if you mess up, you need to take some out, go ahead and hit manage printers and delete them. But once you have that, if you picked the Ender 3 and your machine is not the same size as an Ender 3, you will need to adjust some settings. Other than that, if you pick the printer that is proper for your printer, you should be able to slice and print a model right off of the bat. Of course, you're gonna wanna home your bed and level everything out first but we will go over that in another video. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope it was helpful to you. And in the next one, we're gonna be going over basic object placement, some of the basic settings, and what you can do to manipulate objects in Kira. Thanks for stopping by. Smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one.